Daniel Snyder, the Washington owner, has a predicament. It's unclear whether he's acknowledged that to himself or anyone else, but the pressure is continuing to mount on Snyder to change the name of his team. Two developments from Wednesday. First, the 87 investment firms that represent $620 billion in assets, putting pressure on Nike, Pepsi, and FedEx to stop doing business with the Washington franchise until it changes its name. Now, FedEx is important here because FedEx Field is the name of the place where the team plays. And also, Fred Smith, the CEO of FedEx, is one of the owners of the franchise. If you can start putting pressure on Fred Smith, then maybe he puts pressure on Daniel Snyder. Maybe, right? Maybe. So of those three companies, I think FedEx is the one that people need to focus on if you want to get the attention eventually of Dan Snyder. But this is the first time. This issue has been hanging around for seven years now. This is the first time there's been any type of pressure placed upon the sponsors of the franchise. Also, and this one has kind of been percolating out there. We've known it's going this way, but forget about having a new stadium on the site of RFK Stadium unless and until the name changes. That's something that Snyder would like to do, and part of the bargain is going to be give up the name. Now, look, the cynical side of me has believed that Snyder is just holding back changing the name so he can leverage it for some tangible benefit, whether it's more money to build a stadium, whether it's a draft in D.C., whether it's a, an open air, cold weather Super Bowl in D.C., whatever the case may be. I feel like he's been holding it back for the right time to trade it for something. And by saying, as he did several years ago, all caps, never will he change the name. That just puffs up the value of the thing that he eventually would turn in for some consideration coming back to him. But in this moment, it's not like he's going to get anything in return for doing it. The question is, will there be enough pressure put on him that he has to do something now to end this discussion? I still don't know whether or not the discussion is even registered. And it astounds me that he doesn't see the parallels between himself and George Preston Marshall. That 40 or 50 years from now, Snyder will be getting the same kind of treatment that Marshall is getting now. Of course, Snyder hasn't done anything to merit a monument or placement in the Ring of Honor or anything like that. So it's not like there's anything that would be tangible that could be taken away years from now, but you don't want to be remembered that way. So I just don't know what the end game here is for the team other than I believe to run out the clock and hope that eventually we'll all move on to something else and the franchise will be allowed to continue with a name that is a dictionary to find racial slur, but that no one is applying the kind of pressure on Snyder to get him to change it, period, including the league. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but I haven't heard anything. If the NFL was intent on getting him to change the name, and if the NFL was talking to him behind the scenes, somebody from the league office would leak that to reporters because that allows the NFL to look good. They, they don't look like they're being disrespectful. They're not going public. But sources with knowledge of the situation have confirmed that yada, yada, yada. That's a way to get it out there that the league is doing something. Right now, the league is doing nothing, and I think the league is complicit. And people have said to me, well, why are you giving Ron Rivera a hard time about this? Well, he's the only guy who's out there talking. Snyder is nowhere to be seen. Rivera was on radio in Chicago three days ago, and he said that the issue of the name change is a discussion for another time. We criticize him for that because if now isn't the time, when is? Well, why are you giving Ron Rivera a hard time? He's just an employee. Well, he has said he's the leader of the franchise and he's empowered to run the organization and he believes actions speak louder than words. So I think he is somebody who could be singled out. But secondly, Snyder's not doing these interviews. Snyder's not making himself available. Snyder's not answering any of these questions. Think about what he said back in 2013 when he said, put it down in all caps, I'll never change the name. Think of how that would go over if he would do it now. That's why he's not saying anything. And I continue to hold out hope that players will eventually say something. That's the next frontier in all of this. You start having people who are employed by the organization and who will stand up and talk. Now, look, I'm going to get the same reaction. Why are you putting pressure on these guys? They're just trying to get a paycheck. They're just trying to play football. Why do you want them to say something? Well, what's going to happen? They're going to get cut? If Dwayne Haskins says something, is he going to get benched? If Adrian Peterson says something, is he going to get cut? Terry McLaurin. Chase Young, you think Chase Young is going to suffer any consequence whatsoever if he says, you know, I've been thinking about this. And Chase Young is a very conscientious young man. Chase Young decided that he wasn't going to work out at the combine. He wasn't going to give in to the pressure 
that gets put on these players to entertain the rest of us in late February when there's no football going on. He understands the business. If he has a moment of conscience, why couldn't he say, yeah, I don't think that's a good name. I think they need to change it. I think that's the next frontier. The question is, will the name change now? Will it change later? And what will be the legacy of the people who participated and enabled the ongoing existence of this name beyond this moment? Forget about the last seven years. This is the moment where the change needs to happen. This is the reckoning and awakening on all matters of race. This is the time for it to happen. And the clock is ticking loudly and legacies are on the line. And we'll see if anybody steps up and does the right thing. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.